So last week, my school hosted a fashion show, and I was one of the lucky few to be one of the makeup artists for the models. And one of the designers that I was working with had a bunch of army-inspired clothes, and she said that on a couple of the models that she wanted to have this army-inspired smoky eye. So she wanted some black, some browns, and some greens. So as I was doing the look on them, I thought it was super gorgeous and that I wanted to do a tutorial on it. So this look right here is pretty much what I did on the models. I just added a couple extra things but I hope you guys enjoy this look and let's get started. So before I put on any eyeshadows, the first thing I want to do is apply a base and I'm going to be using my Groundwork Paint Pot and I'm just going to apply it all over the lid, up to my brow and a little bit underneath my lid. Once lens. you have that base applied all over your eye, um, we're going to start with the lid color and it's a black eyeshadow and this one is more on the matte side. This is by L'Oreal and this is called Lush Raven and I'm going to take that with my 239 brush and I'm going to place my baby wipe underneath my eye and I'm just going to apply this color all over the lid and I'm going to stop at my crease. And don't worry about this line because we're going to be blending it out with another eyeshadow. Take any brown eyeshadow. I'm going to be using a matte brown eyeshadow and this is Espresso. This is by MAC. I'm going to take my fluffy blending brush and you're just going to take that brown eyeshadow and blend it out upwards and sort of give it that smoky effect. And you want to make sure that you follow the shape of your eyebrow. And you can build this up as much as you want to, whether you want to make it like a deep, intense brown, or if you want to use an even darker brown, you can do that as well. So it's all about and preference. With skin tone, it depends on what your highlight color usually is. If you're a light skin tone, usually a cream colored eyeshadow like this one works. But since I'm more of a medium skin tone, I'm going to be using this color right here. And this is called Samoa Silk, also by MAC. And I'm going to take an angled craft store brush. I'm going to trace the bottom of my brow. Just right there. Take a little bit more and then just kind of blend it downwards. And then just turn the brush sideways so we have that brow color on. And it looks like a peachy color, but when it goes on the skin, it just looks like the perfect medium skin highlight okay, color. So once you have your highlight color put on, take a pencil brush. I'm going to be using my MAC 219 and we're going to be using this for quite a bit of colors. So make sure you have like a baby wipe or a paper towel on hand, anything like that, because we're going to be dabbing off a lot of the color, so you want to make sure you have this on hand. I'm going to first go to the black that I put all over my lid, the Lush Raven. We're going to create like the smoky effect on the bottom. You can bring it down as low as you want to. And don't worry about if the line is super blended or not because we're going to be smudging it out with that brown color that we used in our crease. Once you have that down, go back to your brown color from your crease and then just sort of, it doesn't have to be blended where the line ends, but you can just kind of be messy with it. because That's kind of the point of this eye. It's very messy and nothing is like completely perfect and uniform. And when I did this look on the models, I didn't put a highlight color on the inner tear duct. What I really wanted to, but I didn't bring it that day. So this is optional, but I did. A, I put a little highlight color on the inner tear duct, and I wanted to keep in tune with like the army theme. So I wanted to use like a shimmery khaki color, and I'm going to be using this color right here. And this is called, what's this called? This is by Clinique, and it's called South Beach. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tip. And then remember to, before you put this color on your brush, to wipe it off with your baby wipe. So I'm just gonna tap off the excess and then this color is going on the inner tear duct. And make sure to blend it out with that Lush Raven black eyeshadow color. So now it is time for that green color that I have. And I'm going to be using Humid by MAC. And this is such a pretty color. And I'm going to, again, use the same pencil brush. On the brush. outer third of my lower lash line, I'm going to apply it there. 
and then blend it in with that Lush Raven and Espresso color. Kind of bring it up here. Take a little bit more on the tip and then where your crease is, we're going to apply that color right there as well. And that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to apply some liquid eyeliner and I'm going to put on my false lashes and I will and I totally be right I forgot back. to mention that in my waterline I used a black eyeliner and this is the Urban Decay eyeliner in Zero. And yeah, that was pretty much it for the eye. And go ahead and pair this with a nude lip. For my lips, I used my favorite lipstick of all time. And this is called Fresh Brew by MAC. And as you can tell, I'm running out. And I definitely have to buy another one of these very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I had a ton of fun doing it on all the models last week for the fashion show. And I had a lot of fun showing it for you guys. So anyways, um, you guys have a great weekend and I will see you all in the next video.